How could I have so misjudged them? For Shang Tsung to indulge in such depravity. For General Shao to condone it. They are not the men I thought them. Despite my best efforts, neither man nor Quan Chi are who they were meant to be. They're not your responsibility. They're outworlders. But it is I who crafted their destinies. Along with those of all other beings. At the dawn of history. You created the realms. I is your mind addled, demigod? I am a mere demigod now. But eons ago, I was more powerful than all of the Elder Gods combined. I was a titan and the keeper of time. This is Giris. Your Majesty. Your Highnesses. Giris is the guardian of the Hourglass. A celestial object which lies beyond the realms. The Hourglass regulates time and destiny. When I wielded its power, it was upon me to craft all of existence. Which I did when I restarted history. Restarted? This timeline was preceded by billions more. Though this is the first of Liu Kang's design. The others were designed by his predecessor. Kronika was obsessed with equalizing good and evil. When a timeline veered too far to one or the other, she would halt it and restart history, tinkering with lives and events in the hope of achieving her golden balance. Prior timelines, Kronika gave Shang Tsung and Quan Chi mastery of the most vile magics. Shao was not a general, a tyrannical ruler bent on conquest. Yusidel were his ruthless wife, who would do anything to preserve your privilege. When I took the hourglass from Kronika, I vowed to do better. So in this timeline, the sorcerers would not gain their dark powers. Shao would be your loyal follower, and you would rule Outworld firmly, but fairly. But someone has interfered with Liu Kang's design. Shao, Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, all have been groomed by an unknown entity to be the villains they were in previous timelines. Where to begin? Am I to kneel to my creator? Do you expect worship? No, your majesty. My prior role was thrust upon me by circumstance. I am in no way divine. You had power over all of creation, yet you gave it up. Because I saw how it drove Kronika mad, I knew I would fare no better had I kept it. dare you conspire against Outworld? Not against Outworld, but against your misguided rule. Your deference to him leaves us all vassals. So you sanction these unspeakable horrors? Lie to me about the threats we face? Thanks to you, Earthrealm blood is already on my hands. Bloodshed, without cause or provocation. Don't move. Empress, everyone, stay back. What is it? The Amulet of Shinnok, a weapon of terrifying power. It should not exist. Its maker is powerless, as Liu Kang designed. Yet more proof of foreign interference. Enough, brother. You both bend a knee to Outworld's new emperor. Put down the amulet. Its evil is beyond your control. <laughs> do you think I do battle not trained with my weapon? I am more than prepared. So General Shao casts his lot with Outworld's enemies against me. He's a fool to ally with you blood-sucking fiends. 
You're no better than Shang Tsung's monstrosities. Tanya and your daughters, they are not dead, but trapped in the amulet. We can still save them. that you are party to Shao's treason. Know that it will cost you your life. I owe him mine many times over. Sacrificing it in his service would be an honor. Your rebellion is doomed. <laughs> your betrayal hurts most, Rain. I thought of you as a son. I've outgrown you, Empress. Shang Tsung's taught me that I've scratched just the surface of my power. To explore it, I can't be bound by your limits. You are forever dead to me. <laughs> I remember the weak, sickly boy you were. How your father fought to push you past your infirmities. Now you repay him by spitting on his ideals? Your revolt shreds every value he held dear. You are relieved, General. The amulet, your majesty. Must act quickly to save Earthrealm. Is that the command of my creator? No, Your Majesty. It is the request of a friend. <laughs> 